All right, all right, all righty, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs, day number 1163, coming at you right here, right now. If you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody. That is correct, Mundo. That's right, everybody. So hit that red subscribe button. And of course, do you see that little like button down below? If you drive in the gig economy, give that a quick tap real fast. Let's get 100 likes. All right. So now that we've gotten that all out of the way, let's jump on into this. This is uh, not going to be an email that I'm reading or an article. Uh, occasionally, I like to just, you know, when a thought pops in my head, I just kind of want to put it out there to you guys. So we've been through a lot in the past year, okay? I don't think I need to do a laundry list of all the things. But what I will say is that life is incredibly unpredictable. And so are these apps that we work for. You know, I, I know I tend to sound like a broken record, <clears throat> you know, I'm always like, oh, well, when I started, you know, back in 2017, things were better then, you know, uh, it almost sounds like when your, your grandparents would say back in my day, things were much different, you know, but it really was. That's the thing. It really, really, really was different. You can ask people like Buddha San, one of my viewers from two, three years now, you know. It was a very simple process, guys. It was very, very simple. When I started on Grubhub, because we didn't have DoorDash, like I started in June 2017, for those of you who don't know, DoorDash did not hit my market until the like mid to late fall of 2017. So we only had Grubhub and Uber Eats available. Grubhub would keep me busy enough, but in case, you know, occasionally it would get slow. I would turn on Uber Eats, and back then... It was all about doing those McDonald's orders. You know, McDonald's was exclusive on Uber Eats. Like, if you wanted McDonald's, that's the app you had to use to get it. <clears throat> and those McDonald's orders were usually a hit or miss. It was quick. You know, you would just walk in, boom, show them the code, in, out, done. But now things have just become so complicated, especially because of the contactless delivery being abused. And... I know I talk about this so much, but right now, during this pandemic, a lot of people are now doing these apps full time. And I completely understand why. It makes sense, you know. But, you know, as vaccines have come out and this and that, you know, we got to start looking at the road ahead and say, is doing these apps sustainable for the long term? I put out a community post a little while back asking if a lot of you guys do this full time or part time. And I was actually very surprised by the results. A lot more of you, I believe, did this full time. Now, <clears throat> the question is, is it only full time for you guys during the pandemic? Because thousands, if not millions of people have lost their jobs. You know, the other day I was reading comments from somebody saying that they had a master's degree. Uh, and they were doing Grubhub and DoorDash and all these and multi-apping full time. And I'm like, wow, think about that. And also how many people wanted to retire at one point or got let go from a job they got laid off. And now they're forced to work again. And it's, it's completely changed their expectations on life and where they think they were going to end up, you know? So... It's, it's scary out there, man. It really is. It's a scary time for everybody. And it really, really makes a lot of sense why people have turned to these apps full time. But come on. Somebody somebody left me a comment. It was like a, a troll comment, but I laughed. You know, every time I make a video about a termination, a suspension, a deactivation or whatever, they're like, oh, 1,001 ways to get deactivated. And I'm like, you know, I wish I could sit here and laugh at that. But it's a reality. The number one thing right now, as you guys should know, is the fraudulent activity emails for deactivations, which isn't even the driver's fault. I remember when those first started months back and I was like, man, what the hell are drivers doing? And then we started realizing how customers were scamming the system and they were 
uh, you know, saying, oh, my food never arrived or whatever. And, you know, and now we got drivers going back to the customers and confronting them, which they should never have to do. And by the way, as much as you want to do that, do not confront the customers. That's not your job. If you, I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you go and drop an order off, let's say it's your first order of the day, right? This video is all over the place. I know. If it's your first uh, drop off of the day, you drop it off, you're on to the next one, and you get an alert saying the food was never delivered, well, you know it was the customer that you just dropped off to, you know? I mean, I guess you're fortunate enough to at least narrow that down. Contact Grubhub, contact DoorDash immediately. Do not wait, because I promise you, these companies are going to send you that deactivation email. They, DoorDash even said they have like a zero tolerance policy. If it happens once, you could be finished if it gets reported. So never wait. Always make sure that you are covering yourself because nobody else is going to do it for you. Always remember that, everybody. Okay? So my question to everybody is, are you a full-time driver in this gig economy? Are you a part-time driver? Or are you only temporarily full-time until, you know, until things start going back to a new sense of normalcy? You know, I, I, I try to approach that topic, you know, with care because I know everybody wants to rip everybody's eyes out for it. But let me know. Are you full-time, part-time, or temporarily full-time? So let me know down below. And I want to say thank you to all of our patrons, especially Millard Norton our ultimate driver at $100 per month. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below in the description and in the pin top comment. And uh, you'll get shout outs like this, like Kimberly Thomas, Tulsa Todd, Heidi Barnes, Brian Pomeroy, William Boudreaux, Fernando Carranza, Justin Case, Anthony Bliss, Sarah Keston, Alan G. Van Horn, <clears throat> Scott Freisner, Drew Honor, Stephen Neely, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Sherry Cassidy, John Bonacci, Terry DeLong, Nick G, Jenny Thomas, Matt Epperson, and of course, Terrence Pacheco. Uh, so if you guys want to sign up, links down below. And speaking of signing up, at least sign up and start saving money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. Comment 333 if you're on there, 444 if you're not yet. All you have to do is download the app for free down below, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. Make sure to download it. And uh, check out paytodrivestore.com. For all your t-shirts and hoodies and all that stuff for yourself, check it out. Check it out. <clears throat> anyway, if you made it to the end, comment six, uh, end 635. End 635 lets me know you made it to the end, so do that real quick if you could. Thank you very much. Hit that like button. Subscribe down below with all notifications turned on, everybody. And that's it for me. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. There's not too many likes, not too many comments. So, let's see if we can get that going. And, of course, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see all you guys next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. Stay safe out there, everybody. Things are going to get better.